Una, dos, tres. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh okay. Uh, this is camera quality for me. Like, it's all nice. Uh, I don't know. I What's wish happening? I, I wish I had my ring light and my stuff. Right. Like, I'm like. Come through with it. Come through. My flashlight or something. You know, we have to go to the market. You better come through. The ancestors, hey, the ancestors' wildest dreams was for oh. light, baby. We okay. got the light here popping. Not flashlight. I'll, I'll work my flashlight. Yeah. flashlight. Oh, you my flashlight. You came with the real life and you my flashlight on my phone. <laughs> no, you just put on your flashlight. This is not okay. Let me pull out my ring. She light. got her flashlight. Nah, look. Nah, look. See it what was. happened was what happened was I had a, a ser I got Siri hit me on the face and I'm like, oh, you ready, ready? You got the gold curtain in the back. You got the light. You pop it. Nah, you're not gonna catch me slipping. I can't. It's yeah, lit. Filter. There we go. Period. Okay. First foremost, you guys finally get to meet. Okay, Marcella, meet Leonzo. Leonzo, meet Marcella. I love peace. <laughs> I heard so much about you. Oh, thank you. I feel happy to talk about to each other. To each other, like, oh my god, you gotta meet Marcella. Oh my god, you gotta meet Leonzo. So I'm so happy that. Is you that a Dairy Queen cup? True. Wow, I haven't seen someone with a Dairy Queen joining them. Minute, minute. It's across the street from my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Got that out here. I don't. This not Dairy Queen in New York. Maybe upstate. Not. I, I mean, it's not all that. It was just a last minute thing. Like, <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we had Yonzo Vargas in the building. We were uh, posting earlier about your video that you have. First of all, please introduce yourself. Peace, y'all. My name is Leonzo, Leonzo Vargas, and um, I'm just grateful to be here. I'm just grateful to be here, man. Like, I'm, I'm not even trying to give a whole carpet roll out. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really happy to be here. That's it. With my people. With my people. Yes. yes. Happy Friday to Garifan Aerobic. Shout out to you. Happy Friday. Hey. Who's in the building? First of all, who's here? Because we have a rotation going on. Um, it's let us know where you're joining us from. We got New York in the building. We got Houston in the building. We got Philly in the building. Well, I'm, I'm in Puerto Rico, so we got Ooh. Puerto Rico in the building. And PR. You know? Bring some of that sun back, please. Yeah, I was I was looking. It's, it's deeper than uh, three degrees over there in uh, New York now. Mm -hmm. oh, East Coast weather is wilding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's New Jersey's in the building. Never. Austin in the building. Guatemala. Here. Guatemala. Get my skin good, out. everybody. What's good? Atlanta is here. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. ATL. Yes. Elsa's in the building. Tap in. Tap in. Atlanta by, Atlanta by way of Brooklyn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Livingston. Here, I'm gonna throw in La Ceiba too. Hey, <laughs> uh, Leonzo, where, where are you from? Where am I from? I was born in the Bronx, um, and and for half my life, for elementary, middle school, and then uh, moved to Philly, moved to Philly for my high school years, and um. Went back to New York for college. I went to Mercy College. So I'm like a traveling baby. So if people ask me where I'm from, it's like. Me too. It's hard. It's hard, right? You're like, like uh, you know, what's the claim? I'm like, yo. I'm like, I literally like, where are you from? Okay, what do you? What are you asking me? Because this is all hard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking me? Are you asking me like where my parents from? Where I'm from? Where do I live? Like, I have to give like a whole story. Like, yeah. What are you on. asking me? Like. I'm lying. Check the I'm like, okay, so I was born in New York, but I'm raised in LA and Long Beach, California. But I live in Houston, so. so yeah, you oh. know. You know, what's that, John? You know how people, some people are biracial or multi race. Like, can you say something for like when you have different places, multi race? I'm gonna say I'm by coastal. I'm like, I'm by coastal. Uh, but I'm on one coast, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> what is so? A coastal. I don't know. Okay. Who's yeah. from La Ceiba? Because I'm not from La Ceiba. I'm from La Ceiba. Oh, are you? Yeah. You was born there? Mm, I was born in Roatan. 
Oh, you special. Uh, oh, special lady. Grew up in, well, I was in La Ceiba when I was a toddler and then came to the Bronx, New York, and then always lived in New York in mostly the Bronx and Harlem, Washington Heights. Um, almost moved to Atlanta, didn't happen. Um, and I'm still in New York. Yeah. So, I mean, let's see. Maybe I'll move somewhere else sometime soon. Yeah, I feel you. I'm a Trujillo <laughs> baby for life. Trujillo, Trujillo. Oh, that's all I know. <laughs> no, I see nothing else. That's love. Hey, thank you for posting the video, too. That was love. I appreciate that. Which one? That was fire. His video that's dropping tonight. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. I'm tripping. I'm I tripping. I saw, I, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I thought it was dope. It was dope. It was dope. It was real dope. <laughs> It's called it is what it, it is. is. And I use, and it was funny, I use that phrase all the time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? That's the we thing. We had to make a song about it. That's right now. It is what it is. How did you come up with that? Yeah. Oh. Inito. How did I come up with that? I was really in the studio with my with my engineer and um I usually come into the studio with my with my engineer producer. And he's like, yo, how you feeling? So I was feeling some way and then he just put on a beat. Um, I guess he there was a, a producer that he follows who posted this beat, and he was like, yo, take it down. I'm going to give it to this artist. And then um, he was just pulled up a beat, and I just started going. There's none of that, man. Da -na 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 -na. And then he's like, record that. <laughs> record that. <laughs> so I was like, bet. And then, um, and then I was just, I was just in a place where I was just like really just accepting of who I am. Like, yo, this is me. This is how I think. This is how I operate. It is what it is. Things are the way they are and the way for me to, like, really have a change. I got to accept that, like, one, this is what it is. This is where I'm at. This is where I could come from. And, like, from that point, where can I move the needle? But first, I got to land on what is it. And I was just like, yo, it is what it is. B, I'm, you know, I'm accepting who I am. Garifuna, born in the Bronx. Like, all these things that I've been really just trying to figure out how to you know, I guess I would just say, just like identify with, you know, and just like similar to when you actually where I'm from, like these are things that I'm like, wait, where am I from? Like, you know, and just like accepting all of those things and for myself to just fully cement that, yo, it is what it is. This is where I'm at. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And that's like a big, big topic, you know, especially when it comes to like, you know, things we talk about here that it's like identity, you know, like, who are we, you know? And so it's amazing for, you know, all of us to creatively, you know, utilize our, you know, platforms to talk about our identity because there's so many others like us who are trying to figure ourselves out or trying to, you know, pay homage to, you know, our culture, our, who we, where we, where we come from, you know? So definitely, definitely dope. Did you, did y'all ever um, come across that when it comes to I, uh, just like identity and things of that sort? I'm really curious how y'all went about, uh, especially being Garifuna, explaining that to people in your child, like growing up or even now. Mm, okay, as a kid, I didn't really explain it. Like, cause I didn't know how to explain it as a kid. I, I just be like, oh yeah, I'm Honduran and I'm black. Like that's it, like there's nothing else to it. I didn't really start explaining my girlfriend's side, maybe till I was 20, 2019, I mean, 19 or 20. So maybe like, maybe four or five years ago. What made you, what made you be like, all right, I got to start explaining this. Like, what was that switch for you? Twitter. <laughs> so, yeah, right. Okay. Cause I don't know, at the time, like in around 2017, 2018, Griffin and Twitter started getting big. Like it started to become a thing. That's why, like, majority of my friends that are, like, I know is through Griffin on Twitter. Like, that's how I know people. Like, oh, that's how I met so-and-so. So that's when, like, um, made me explain more because I'm like, okay, well, at least I know I have a community that's around my age and it's not for social media. So I think that's a good another thing with um, our community. I think that we've expanded more through social media, like, literally. Oh, yes. I was going to for that market. Yeah. I didn't really talk about Garifuna culture when I was growing up as a kid. I rarely even mentioned that I was Honduran because kids would be 
like yeah, people didn't understand. So it's like when you go, they didn't understand. After a while, explain that kind of like it became kind of a, a chore. You know what I mean, that's as a kid, and that's when you're developing your identity. So that's even worse. You know what I mean? Because it's like you basically, I don't know about other people's experiences, but it's kind of like there was a pressure to try to accommodate to the closest culture that people actually did know about. Or, you know what I mean? Just to, like, get it on. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm this, I'm that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Hispanic, which is incorrect. You know, that's that thing, you know? Yeah. That's you know? true. I grew Always up in a, um, like, a Jamaican community, like, Jamaican, Puerto Rican communities and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. But, no, I didn't really, you know, talk too much about it. Um, yeah. I did, but I didn't. I didn't want to explain it so much, so I would just, you know. But as I got older, yes, I, right now, huh, ask me. We're gonna sit down for about an hour and talk about it. Ask me. Facts. <laughs> Facts. You, you know what's you know what's um what's interesting for me. I was watching this um this big pun video and that body morena, and just like at the time of that video, just how much he represented represented the Puerto Rican community, you know, in hip hop in a way that was just like on like Biggie Smalls level, to like superstar level, right? So it just like kinda it just brought this this um just this excitement of like wow I'm being represented as a Puerto Rican on like the hip hop culture, right? One of the biggest the biggest culture in the world, right? And as far as uh you know music goes. And well, no, just period, you know, and and for me, when in that video, when I'm using when I'm waving the Garifuna flag, I want to my goal manifestation claim words. What I will do, what I will do is make sure that that Garifuna flag is represented on the highest level. So kids, children, you know, the next generation don't got to go to school and people be like, Got it, got how got it, what how what's that thing? Where you what's your thing? You know, and like people know off top when they wear that flag. I wanna see a, a Garifuna emoji. You know, when I when I type Garifuna, I wanna see a Garifuna emoji pop up on my phone. You know what I'm saying? And like that's just super important for me and like why that flag is important and putting it in culture in a culture that people can already like connect with and be like, yo. What's that flag he's with? What is that? You know? And I just think that's just, that's one of my, just one of the things that really I have passion for, especially going to Punta Gorda this, you know, this, um, this summer. And, and, you know, you, you guys allowed me to do an Instagram takeover during the trip, you know? But what I realized when I was there, I was just like, man, there's so many Garifuna flags. The same way when I land in Puerto Rico, there's a Puerto Rican flag everywhere. Right. And I never felt that feeling, you know, and I'm just like, man, you see all these different flags, all these different cultures being represented. Yep. Uh, my goal and what I what I want to see, what I will see, what I am seeing and will continue to see is Garifuna flags being represented in the same light in the culture that we love for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. My flag right here. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely, definitely the goal at the Garifuna market as well, you know, and since we all can relate in, 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 you know, having that struggle to identify ourselves growing up, you know, hopefully our platforms can, can be a motivator for the younger generations to make them, you know, be more proud about, about who they are, you know, um, it's very important. Yes, like somebody said in the comments, it's important. It's mm -hmm. important. We yeah. should of who we are or just because the masses around us do not relate. That's it. That's true. Yeah. 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 Tell us more about the video. Yeah, so what do you want to know? It was a dope video. Man, how did I come about? Like, yeah, I'm going to ask her, like, what? Who's everybody in the video? Is You know, you, you got the whole squad. Yeah. So the video, uh, the video is shot at this a uh, vegan. Well, they sell a sal salmon platter. That's the only like uh, meat that they sell. But outside of that, it's um, natural juices. Um, this spot called Hibiscus Cafe um, in West Philly. So is that, West you know, in West Philly. 
Um, and West Philly really has this community. You, Philly is just a real soulful community when it comes to, you know, you have Jill Scott, you got the roots. I mean, Erica Badu recorded her albums here, right? Like, it just has this, I'm, you know, you from the Philadelphia sound, right? And Mo, and Michael Jackson recorded music here. Philly just has this super soul. And, like, um, the beautiful thing about West Philly, you know, is, is really, like, you kind of get that, how would I say, the energy of Jill Scott, you listen to that record, that's, you get that feeling in West Philadelphia. Every time I hear West Philadelphia, I start singing that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That's <laughs> word, though. Yo, West Philadelphia. Like, Yo, it's so real. But I shot it there. The reason why I, I, I picked that spot was because right now, even in the Philly scene, when, when people think of Philadelphia and rap culture, you even think of Meek Mill, Dirt Bikes, Right, you think they get French friends, you know, and um, but there is this whole um, uh, uh, this whole movement that's happening of empowerment, self realization, um, wellness, you know, community ecosystems, and that's a movement, you know, around those ideals. I build a movement called Global Village that started here in West Philly. Um, and we started with 10 people, you know, in a warehouse in 2017 and then grew to a, a community of over 40,000 people, which has been phenomenal. Um, so I wanted to pick a location that felt like that energy. Mm. And then we did Hibiscus. I mean, hi, that video literally is like, I wanted to capture a day in the life of just me and the homies. And we go to that shop about three times a week. We go to Hibiscus, we get our sea moss, we get our, our juices, we get our plant-based eats, you know? And then showcase, like, in hip-hop culture that in Philly, you know, just like in Brooklyn, just like in Harlem, you know, we have this, we have this naturalistic um, lifestyle that's taking off this alternative lifestyle. And then rap is not just about um, being in a corner or if you're talking about that holistic lifestyle, you're doing it in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to shoot it right next to the Chinese store. To uh, The way I like to explain it is I wanted to give the vibe of if Erica about to win 50 Cent had a baby, that's the energy I want to I wanna put out there. And what's Gunny for now, of course. Um, <laughs> that is really amazing. Yeah. really amazing because I really love the elements of the um, holistic and wellness and things like that because that's also something that I've been experiencing bring more you know and i think it links back to our ancestry you know for yeah. sure you know so i love the representation of a holistic lifestyle i love the representation of philly i love the representation of uh the garifuna flag you know and just you being you you know so it's really dope it's thank really you dope. thank you and yeah so the people that were in there was the homies and people of our people of our community, whether that's creatives, healers, and what else was in the end? Juices. The juices <laughs> were the extras. Uh, <laughs> so now it was just love. It was a great day. We shot that video in two hours. The video was complete in 48 hours. Shouts uh -huh. to Guru, shouts to Chase Blue, Guru Blue, who directed it. And um, we're gonna be dropping a music video every month. And you will see El Gari from that flag in every video every month. Hey. So, you know, excited yeah. to keep it going. Love it. Shout love out to it. the girl from the artist. Yes. Shout out to the goodie from the artist, for sure. Marcella sure. Z. Do mm -hmm. you have any questions? Great yeah, question. what's your music style like? Like, what exactly do you con like consider your style of music to be? Like um, I call my, my music freedom music over trap beats. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, yeah. Like so, like, mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's unique. Like, it's trap beats in a way, but it's not like the traditional type of thing. Yeah, it's the different, it's freeing message. You right. know what I'm saying? So, instead of like, instead of like, I took your girl and I, da -da, da -da, <laughs> right? It's like, <laughs> Why is that the bar? You know what I mean? Like, you know? So, so my ancestors gave me a shot, so you know I'm going to let it go bang, right? Instead of like, I'm going to get a gun, I'm going to just keep in that same, that same, that same tempo, that same aggression, 
but but changing the wordings because music is culture words is culture if you if you the music we listen to is daily mantras and don't get me wrong like i listen to migos i listen to travis scott i listen to the vibes because the the beats be on another level you feel the soul and you feel the soul in their messages even though it might be lower vibration you could feel the pain of where it's coming from right so you know i think it's i think it's super cool to be able to kind of shift that but with words that will be will be on that level without preaching though without preaching like just make it sound fire they'll get the message just give them the heat that's very um, very genuine authentic they're very different. I was thinking about that earlier today. There was a song I really wanted to listen to. And I was like, I can't, I can't rock with these lyrics. Because I'm very, I'm, I'm in this phase, not even a phase, but I have transformed into a, a, a better person. That's right. what I'm on. And, like, I just don't want to intake anything that is, I'm very sensitive about what I take in. Yeah. Not food and drink and stuff like that, but what I surround myself with. What do I listen to? You know things like that. So I really love that 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 that's your mission. You know because the beat is dope, and the lyrics are dope too. But we don't have to talk about bringing our people down or doing negativity or doing really bad things. So I really I rock behind that. I don't even listen to rap before twelve o'clock. <laughs> that's like my number one rule. Like I don't listen to rap before twelve o'clock. Like at all. Cause the messaging. Yeah, like I, I used to be like in high, like for example, high school. Like, oh my god, like I wake up, I don't know, six on seven something. I have like freaking, I don't know, Lil Wayne playing in my ears. Like, I said, no more, so you can't do this anymore. No that's real, and that sets the tone for the whole no, day. Wow, literally, the tone. Wow. So, what do you listen to before twelve o'clock? Um, I'll either start with a sermon. Like from either Sarah Jake Roberts or T.D. Jakes or John Gray. It was like my top three favorite pastors. Or Sino, I'll listen to a podcast. Yeah. Or I'll probably, I love Neo, Neo Soul. I love it. So I'll probably, probably listen to like, I don't know, like Snow Allegra or Salon. Something, something soothing. But I'm not listening to Migos, The Baby, like none of that. <laughs> Before 12 o'clock. <laughs> I don't <laughs> listen to rap before 12 o'clock. No, no rap. Yo, that is a bar. That is hilarious. It's real though. I feel you. I I feel you, you know? Yeah. But I'm I'm grateful that um that alternatives are coming, you know. So if you decide <laughs> before 12 that you want to listen to, to to some rap, you have a different, you know, you have an alternative choice. Yeah, that might change now. Got some rap music with pop. Yeah, you know what they yeah. say: support black, support black. Support black. Got that support, got for that business. You know we yeah. here. So, yeah. Yeah. but um, who would you consider like your musical inspiration? Ooh. my musical inspiration off top. Uh, Bob Marley is my is my oh favorite my God. artist. That is my fave, and we're one day apart. His birthday. And That's why you one day him. apart? Yeah, when's your birthday? birthday? February fifth, and then Bob Marley's is the sixth. Wow! Wow! I love. Wait, I love so what's February fifth? Is that is that that's, that's not Aquarius? Is that Aquarius? Ah, okay. oh, that's dope. Oh, is that it? <laughs> that my name, moment so no, it's real. Once again, <laughs> oh, I represent. All right. Oh, um, so yeah, definitely Bob, and then um, I'll say. Interesting enough, Damian Marley is one of my top favorite artists. Um, um, J. Cole, you know, we bring it into modern times. Jay-Z, obviously, because he laid the blueprint, and he's oh. continuing the blueprint, and he's the first rapper we're seeing who we've ever seen still relevant at 50. 50? Yeah. Right? Crazy. 50 bones. You know what I'm saying? He's Who's still old? doing it at a high level. Um Celia Cruz changed my perspective on his music, but his entertainment. You got to hold the tension. Mm. Um, and then not for nothing, you know, on some for real, for real, I listen at least once a week. You got to listen to Aurelio, you know, get some Aurelio in there. Hey, you know my I got to. There's just something about Garifuna music that I'm like, yo, 
Y'all ever like listen to Gotti Fun music? You like, yo, this shit is really fire. So as like, an adult so now, awesome. but as a kid, I'd be like, turn this off. Like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, as a kid, I was just like, oh, Paranda again. Oh my gosh, you're yeah, killing yeah. me. But now it's it's different. Like Paranda tells a story. Like people don't really realize it. Mm -hmm. I love music artists from the past and the present and the future. Would you want uh, to collaborate with a girl from an artist? I would love to. I would love to. I mean, I want to get a a, a little June John. Like, do you want to dance? I'm trying to get. Little, <laughs> trying to get a, do you want to dance so much? Shit. <laughs> Tell us you know? a little June. Little June yeah. doing his thing. Little June fire. Little June fire. But yeah, I definitely want to the market one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. It would be so different. Have you ever got in contact? When do y'all got the connect? Come on, little June, tap in. Yeah, we need to get a little. I actually more. know someone who knows him personally, but I don't talk to that person. <laughs> but yeah, I know that if I were to just, I don't know, I'm kind of, uh, I, I, I think I'd be able to do something. Oh, you gotta just tap for, into little June. Just for the one time. Oh, see, look, somebody said it. I got it. L -L you got, you got the <laughs> connect go. grind there time go. nation. <laughs> Grind time nation yeah. or all of us that do you want to dance. To grow from the market. I think that I think that would be big. That would yeah. be major. The call to action. Wow. <laughs> We're manifesting it. Yes. Twenty twenty two, Lil June, Gotti for that market debut. You already. You already. Yo. Uh, but yes. Yeah, I mean who are there any Gotti for the artists that y'all like? Rather young or, or you know, who we there's people. a lot. Um, I like you know. how in this day and age we have like um, group num boy groups again. Like, remember how I don't know, boy. I, like boy bands. Like, I know I wasn't born around this time. Like, you know, we had Griffin the Kids, I didn't exist at that time when they was popping, but we got Griffin the Kids. Ah, uh, who else? Punta Rebels, but now we have who Legacy. Mm. Uh, Grew from the Outlaws. Oh my God, we're going to kill me if I didn't mention them. Come on, come on, come on. So we have Ifani. She's a, she's a Griffin artist. You should believe. But she does like Neo Soul. So that's her style too. You guys would be good together. Oh. Yeah, like she, that's her, her thing. Um, Make the link. Make the link. I need to. Make the link. We have Nels. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, well, that was last year. Numari. 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 Ecstasy. Yeah, I'm Mr. Ecstasy. I'm in that video, by the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, I'm a bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also have DJ Young, Baby Fox. DJ Young. Uh, DJ Joshua, 45. Shout out to her. Um, oh, I was good. We need a, we need a, we need a, a, a day on the Garifuna market where it's like, New Art. artists. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. There's Wasan. He, um, he just dropped the album. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot. Somebody said Ecstasy. Yeah, shout I out. Love, to I love Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard of these artists. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm trying to tap in. I got to tap in. They lit. Okay, so um, are, is your music going to be on Apple Music? Yes, at eleven fifty nine. Um so what's that? Y'all y'all what y'all are R V, huh? Yeah. So in an hour on your time. Yeah. I want the Asiatic. I forgot about Asiatic. I'm not even gonna stay here and lie. Forty three? Asiatic. Yeah, so in an hour, you know, it's gonna be on all platforms. The video is on YouTube now, it's on my website. The link is in the bio. You could check it at Leonzo.world. Um, and you'll get everything, 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 everything. Bye. And um, yeah, every month, Rich, every month, it's gonna be some new. Um, so you can always find some. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be cool. Comment. Say that again. They dropping names in the comments. Yeah, I'm looking D at King. Them. Yeah, shout them out. Who are all the guys from our artists? Keep it rolling. We need this thread. Y'all should actually talk to him. Good guy. Asiatic. Nobu, popping. Y'all looking lovely and healthy. I'm just checking. In. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's the boy, Vlad. Thank you for checking in.
led to more lives more often. Yeah. For sure. Yo, can we? You know what I'm thinking would be cool? Mm. You know what would be cool? Um, there's two things. One, if there was a playlist hosted by the Garifuna market of these artists. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I say I need royalties on that. And then... <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't even play with me, Don't even. <laughs> I told y'all I want y'all to be AJ and free up in here. I'm with that. <laughs> I'm with that. This is TGM top ten. What's going on? Let me type TGM top ten. We need a Dairy Queen sponsor too. <laughs> and facts. Fact. We need a Giffy sponsor. Um, Word. And then too, we had a festival. We got even our artists performing Already know. Um, of all genres. Um, I think that'd be dope and people could come and they can vibe. You know what I'm saying? That could be dope. But maybe playlists for now because it's because, you know, the pandemic and stuff like that. Yeah, right? I just recovered from COVID like two weeks ago. Oh, you had, oh, a, I didn't tell you, huh? you had a Desi. You had a Desi Nueve? I did. But luckily yeah. it was good. Yeah, I'm good. It was mild though. Like I only had, I had a bad headache, like in the middle of my forehead. My body was aching like for like the whole week. But your girl's straight. But I work with kids, so you know when we work with kids, like you catch anything quickly. Oh, I think COVID got me. Yeah, like COVID had me, but I'm solid. I'm straight. 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 Yes. I'm glad you're healthy. No joke. I'm yeah. glad you're healthy. I'm glad you're healthy and well. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. No, but seriously though, that that playlist idea, like I'm really like. It's a good joke. Like I'm, I, I could just name on top of my head, like. Uh, yeah, honestly, thank you, for Ebony. Thanks, Ebony. I was actually trying to see if I could add a video on here because I wanted to play the clip on um, Leon. So I know I'm able to do it when I have two people. But it looks oh, like that's dope. Yeah, I look like I wasn't able to do it this time around, but maybe it's the next good. time. It's all good. You know what I'm saying, everybody? The link is in the, it's on the page. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's no, but the seriously, his video is dope, y'all. Like, I swear. Like, yeah. It's like, Thank it's you. dope. Like, I, mad respect. Like, what was, what was that lyric you, had, you said? Amethyst on the wrist? Oh, yeah. that's my birthstone. Oh, that's my That's your birthstone because I knew it. I was like, I love tapping into energy, <laughs> amethyst, and I, and that's yeah, what that's came out. On the amethyst, that's crazy. Say amethyst on the wrist. What? Yeah. Sorry. You feel me? Sorry. Black old drip. Sorry. Matcha tea's what I sip. Won't stop till we rich. No yeah. fool quit. Did it without flipping bricks. Now journalists want the flicks. It is what it is. Price you pay where you lit. This beef for like FIFA. The shit got a kick. Ugh. Oh. No, but like, do you plan on dropping? Like, since you say you're gonna like drop music, like or videos every month, do you plan on dropping like an album soon, an LP, EP? Like, what we doing? Um, I'm just uh, for now, just music. Uh, I just want to do it for just expression. I'm not even. I haven't been thinking about it from a standpoint of let me do this and then drop an album. Cause I realize, for me, I just want to take it steady so the album could come out instead of like big vision. And then the pressure from the small, nah, let me just once a month either quit. After 10 songs drop, package it, boom, <laughs> with a couple, two songs, some bonus, call it a deluxe. He's knowing Wizkid did that, he dropped all his shit. Then he put two songs, called it a deluxe. And I was like, so they call him the Wiz. Yeah. <laughs> I love Wizkid. I knew Wizkid before he was actually like mainstream Wizkid. For real? No, not know him better, like his music. Get him on he, the market. He, he used to do like Afrobeat, Afrobeat. He's, yeah, so he's had to go show in the summer, and it was really fire. Mm -hmm. Y'all know any Garifuna artists who jump on Afrobeat type beats? I uh, I know one has that style of music. No, I know one that knows that style of music. Yeah, shout to George. George, feel me. Georgia's Garden. Major key, Benny Sionas, me him there. Gotcha. Um, peace, peace, peace. But yeah, so okay, Beyonce. So platforms that you'll be available on starting midnight. Starting midnight. 
every platform that you can hear music on, every single platform you can press play your favorite streaming. That's where my music will my music will be on starting at midnight. Pandora, Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music. The list goes on. Every, whatever you can think of, Amazon, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, That's YouTube, awesome. Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> wherever, wherever you can find it. That's where the music is going to be. The right. video is out now on the YouTube's um, and on my website, Leonzo dot world, um, and. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be super accessible. So you won't have, you say, Leon's what is what it is, and it's going to pop up. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Leonzo, for checking in. Uh, everybody go check him out. Follow him, follow him, follow him. Go watch that video. It drops at midnight. And yeah. It's going to be a vibe. Thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me. I just want to say before I get out of here, uh, I'm super grateful for this platform to have a, a platform that represents us so we so we know that we're not alone, so we have our people that we can resonate with, our people that we can have conversations about, you know, our everyday, just our everyday, you know, because every day be every day in. So, you know <laughs> what I mean? Just to be, just to have that, a platform that we can speak, we can connect and, um, just thank y'all. Thank y'all for continuing to keep this going because this shit takes time and energy. And you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here. <laughs> you're that. here, but you're here. So thank you. I appreciate y'all as fellow Garifu Nines, as beautiful women who are creating impact in the world, as beautiful spirits, divine beings, making sure that we have a space uh, to feel good, to feel brave, to feel seen and feel heard. Thank Speaking you. of artists, what happened with Bon Bon Spanish Reggae? Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know. Bon. I don't know. Bon I don't even bon. know what happened to Spanish Reggae. Do people still do? I mean, Nigerians still do Spanish Reggae because that was a thing. I know, right? Uh-huh. That's probably. I don't know. Let us know if that if, when you come back from Puerto Rico and you bring back the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. If you hear some Bon Bon. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. Wait, oh, last thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, has there ever been a thought of um, doing like a trip, like a group, like a trip to Punta Gorda, like a, you know what I mean, like a. So yeah. what's funny is I got asked to go to Honduras. I don't know if it's just Honduras or algo así in Central America, but there's a trip coming up in May to go to Honduras, but I can't know. Vamos a ver. But that would be dope. And make it happen. I think a cool trip that I've... Uh, one trip that I've seen that some girlfriends have done is they go to St. Vincent. Mm, that's fire. To the main main, and then they go to Uruatan and stuff. But that'd be dope. Yeah. But, soon, come, soon come. We out of here soon. When I had Yo, Stencil, too. Y'all been, y'all been on the... There, I'm going to hop out of here. Y'all been on the boat? Y'all been on the, on the ferry to Uruatan? Yes. Y'all got sick on that joint? Yes. Yo, that joint is treacherous. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a story for another day. The boat ride. Trash cans in every corner? Yeah, and they, like, mobbed up, like, making sure everybody. Oh, really? They, yo, it was crazy. That I was like, wow. I am. I don't know if I'm coming back over here. This shit it was crazy. <laughs> but it was great, though, when you got there. But the ride over there. I do a meal. I mean, you don't want to go. I don't do seafood. That was just me. Wow. Okay. Thank Where's you. everyone from? We from Honduras, baby. Honduras, baby. Well, <laughs> but, well the top three. Daddy? Well, the ones in here, yeah, top three were Honduras, but everybody's from some places. Check out the sweet pants. Yeah, I'm from New York. Marcella's from LA and Houston. LA and Houston, by Coastal. And Leonzo's from Philly and New York. Park. Yeah, yeah, gang, gang. Sweet pain band. I'm gonna. All right, I'm taking up all the time. Let me get up <laughs> out of here. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Bye. Guys, appreciate you. Ayo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was always gonna hit you with that, right? She like, ayo. <laughs> I'm weak. So weak. So weak. I haven't heard that in so long. Join it. <laughs>